This is the first time that, that it's been reported in dairy cattle. Utah lost thousands of birds two years ago to a deadly avian flu outbreak spread by wild birds. Now we are starting to see cases emerging in dairy cattle. States that do have positive cases of highly pathogenic avian influenza in dairy cows are Texas, Idaho, Kansas, Michigan, and New Mexico. Right now we are have zero cases of avian influenza in Utah, um, which we'll, we hope will stay that way. But the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food is trying to keep local cows safe from infection. We have um, put stricter limitations on the importation of cattle, dairy cattle specifically, um, rather than the 30 day required um, veterinarian health check. They have to have that check done within seven days of importation. When they get uh, sick with avian influenza, there's a sharp drop in milk production and in feed intake. And so that there's off coloration and uh, consistency of the milk. The good thing is that unlike when birds fall sick with avian influenza, cows have been able to recover. Thankfully, uh, depopulation is not necessary for cattle as it is not deadly to the cattle um, as it is with birds and is not as easily transmissible with cattle. And experts say this hopefully won't impact milk prices in grocery stores much either. Uh, in the springtime, we have a seasonal surplus of milk. And so with uh, the number of dairies that have been affected, the impact on milk production has been uh, minimal. But there are things that farmers can do to help prevent the spread of infection. Limiting the number of peep visitors you have to your farm, um, washing vehicles that come on and off your farm, changing boots, um, wearing boot covers. From the information we do have right now, there's no imminent threat to humans. You know, even though people have gotten infected, whether it's from exposure to birds, poultry, or in this case, cattle, um, there's been very little documented human to human transmission. The Utah Department of Agriculture and Food also saying that at this time, there's no known risk to public health because of avian flu. They say if you have any cows showing any symptoms, you're asked to reach out to the state veterinarian to report the issue because this helps track and prevent further spreads. In Salt Lake City, I am Maitli Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.